giveaways upon giveaways. The free trial period currently available for Battlefield 5, new data mine Japanese and American elites, as well as Chapter 5 Pacific details. This is your week on the Battlefield. Welcome to this episode of This Week on the Battlefield, the show where we cover news, updates the community, and so much more all around the Battlefield franchise. As per usual, there's much to cover, so let's jump straight into it. This week in Battlefield 5, we had the return of Rush, with the popular mode controversially only ever available of course for a limited time period. It currently can be played on Operation Underground, Rotterdam, Devastation, Twisted Steel, Mercury, Navik and Aras, and has of course a dedicated playlist to it. Rush is also the central theme of this week's weekly Battlefest mission, In a Hurry, featuring mostly assignments related to the Rush game mode. You aren't going to really get around playing this one this time round, if you wish to unlock this week's reward, the Captain Hadlow epic skin for the Stuck 4 German tank. I, for my part, count Rush and Frontlines amongst my favorite game modes in the Battlefield franchise, so can't wait to get private games up and running and be able to play those modes permanently. Also this weekend, we have the first of three free trials for Battlefield 5 on PC. Players will be able to experience the single player and parts of the multiplayer experience on the weekends of the 10th to the 13th, 17th to 20th, and 24th to the 27th. Getting access to Rush this weekend, an infantry focused conquest playlist next weekend, and grand operations on the respective last weekend. If you want to give Battlefield 5 a try without putting down any money, these free weekends are likely your best opportunity, but they do come with some drawbacks as we'll discuss a little later on. In the series of giveaways that doesn't seem to really be stopping, this week we of course got the EA Play 2019 and Best Community in the World emblems handed out to us both on Tuesday and Thursday on mass over on Twitter. Now, really, however, the best rewards are still to come. Until Monday, October 14th at 9 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, anybody can take part in a giveaway featuring five Logitech G Battlefield 5 XL mouse mats and five Battlefield 5 art books. Of course, the link to participate in this giveaway will be down below in the description. And unlike most of the better giveaways out there, you don't really have to do anything to take part other than fill out the form this time round. Also, if you haven't already, but still want to make sure you get your submissions in for the NVIDIA GeForce RTX video contest, make sure you get that done by Sunday, 11.59 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, because that is the final time of entry for those submissions, of course, giving you the chance to win an RTX 2080 Ti, as mentioned in a previous episode of this show. This week's Trello board updates were slightly on the slimmer side of things. A number of bugs were added, but none of the current ones being tracked updated, with the relevant additions being bugs related to players reaching unintended areas of the map on Operation Underground and Rotterdam, blocky Minecraft trees in the main playing area, a bug that has plagued us since basically launch, a bug where players cannot redeploy after bleeding out, and the incorrect Mastery 4 requirements for the Carabin 1938M. Additionally, DICE apparently has a fix for the current messy state of the assignment menu following the last update, that being the first confirmed fix or feature coming in the yet to be outlined next update for Battlefield 5. And what to expect next week, according to Braddock, there should be even more giveaways, whether this is going to be more EA Play 2019 or Best Community World Emblems or something else is yet to be determined. And of course, week three of Battlefest will roll around this Thursday, with the weekly mission being side by side and the individual assignments focusing mostly on teamwork. The reward for this is of course the long-awaited Trench Carbine Pistol for the Scout class. No word, however, yet how that of course compares to the existing Pistol PO8 Carbine. In our exciting soon TM category, we have a new menu screen, supposedly being shown to players who are participating in the free trial for Battlefield 5. It features a Japanese soldier with a military sword and a Mitsubishi A6M0 fighter in the background. This of course is not exactly new information, but nevertheless exciting to see given that the Pacific at this point is only really 3-4 to four weeks out. EA is also supposedly working on a pretty advanced new anti-cheat system. This new system will supposedly analyze processes running in your RAM of your system to search for and find malicious software. However, this is very much news from the outside of the Battlefield sphere as of now, because there is no word from either EA or DICE if the patent filings on the system have got anything to do with any updates coming to Battlefield 5 in the near future. 
Nevertheless, it's good to see EA investing a little bit in their anti-cheat efforts, given that games such as Battlefield 5 have struggled to keep the cheaters out, especially in some of the more vulnerable markets over in Asia. In temporal goodness, as always, of course, to be taken with a generous helping of salt, given the data mining origins of the provided information, we start off with map news. Tropic Island, the internal and not official name of one of the Pacific maps, has now supposedly received its final name, Pacific Storm. Given some of the named locations found in the game files, including Radio Tower, Beach Camp, Fort May Courtyard, and Water Tower, the map is likely one of the ones we saw in the concept art over at EA Play and highlighted by Temporium. Dog tag charms for different countries have also been found in the game files with an American, Japanese, French and Italian version supposedly largely already implemented, whereas the German and UK versions are still very much being worked on. And in news that at least some of you guys will most definitely be excited about, we have new elites supposedly in the game files. The first being Kensuai Nakamura, born in Kyoto, Japan, and according to the in-game description, a scholar before being conscripted to the army, and a talented tactician always finding the perfect moment to strike. His motto or catchphrase supposedly is for my family and my homeland. Jack Culver is the USA equivalent, born in Tulsa, Oklahoma. His in-game description states that he is a mounted machine gun specialist, unflinching, and a European theater war veteran, now reassigned to the Pacific, with his catchphrase being, supposedly, I never learned to say I quit, and I don't intend to. Now, the graphics here made up by Temporal are very much just placeholders. How these figures and individuals will look is yet to be clarified, but this is different confirmation that once again with Chapter 5, we will be getting new elites for the game. In other Temporal related news, we have some melee weapons being found in the game files with the car, bar, knife, tanto and bone saw, as well as a reference to some sort of Christmas related melee weapon. Also, we have Halloween soldier sets for the Germans and British with only the headgear so far being renderable for Temporal. This matches up with some of the more Halloween themed skins we previously saw a couple of weeks back. So it very much looks like around the Halloween period of time, we will be getting a series of at least cosmetics related to the time of year. Over in community news, this week very much still focused on Operation Underground, with people very much anxious about some of the changes to MMGs that supposedly will be coming sooner or later, which of course could massively improve the playability of the map to many of us who are already enjoying it, especially, for example, on Breakthrough. Now, nevertheless, Operation Underground may just be one of the most popular additions to Battlefield 5 just yet and continues to spawn plenty of excitement in the community. We also have plenty of people talking once more about Rush and the temporary nature of some of the favorite and best game modes in Battlefield 5. Frontlines, originally of course a permanent game mode, domination to a lesser extent, Rush and even Grind, which has a relatively passionate fan following, are very much upset, as per usual, that the game mode will be disappearing next Thursday. Now if you want to add your voice to that discussion, you'll find plenty of people talking about it over on the Battlefield 5 Reddit or Battlefield 5 forums. The last piece of information and discussion to mention in community news this week is the free-to-play events currently being hosted for PC players for Battlefield 5 this weekend as well as the coming next two weekends. Well, everybody agrees more players and getting people excited for Battlefield 5 is a positive thing. Given the current cheetah problems, especially rampant in certain areas of the world at the moment, many people are concerned that, well, people are going to take advantage of these free weekends, well, to cheat without any serious repercussion. And while that is absolutely a legit concern, because you lose no money if your account gets banned, these events very much are limited both in game mode scope, that is, what content these individuals can access, and the time periods they can access it for. And in my personal experience playing both yesterday and today, I haven't found myself coming across any really more hackers than I usually would have if this wouldn't be a free-to-play weekend for Battlefield 5. But over in our only in Battlefield moments, we start this week off with two Trill, over on Operation Underground of course, making short work of the enemy with the help of Smokes and a Suomi, taking on half the enemy team all at once and coming out on top with a total of 16 kills in the space of a very short time period.
Next up, we have D. Kelly with the perfect revenge on an enemy who just rudely roadkilled his squad mate. Only in Blitz with the perfect example of how to play the objective as Scout, going in for an aggressive pistol streak over on Panzerstorm. And lastly today, we have old Greg taking out the bomber by appropriately bombing him out of the sky. Coming to the end of this week's episode then, if you enjoyed the show, found it interesting or entertaining, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share, and of course hit me up with your feedback, suggestions, and opinions down below in the comments or over on Twitter. With all that being said, however, I'd like to thank you very much for watching and hope to see you in the next episode of this week on the battlefield.